G'day guys and welcome back. I have a brand new video for you today that is going to show a beginner StarCraft 2 build. It's going to be perfect for any person who's new to StarCraft 2, new to Protoss, let's say you've been playing other races and you want to play some Protoss, Proxy Voidray's got you upset. This build is going to teach you how to macro with Protoss. You can use it against every single race, so you can just have one build order. It's very, very simple, straightforward. I'll explain it as we go along, but the build order will be shown in the top left hand corner. And just in general, I find this build very simple. I give it to all of my students uh, that I coach. It's perfect for bronze, silver, gold, platinum. And even I give it to diamond players as well, just to help refocus them, get them building probes constantly, get them building units constantly. If you do this, you could easily get up to masters. Once you're getting up to the higher ranks, you might you know, switch up a tiny, uh, a little bit of it, but that's fine. Those are adjustments you can make when you're more confident with the race. This build order is very simple, 14 pylon, 16 gateway, 17 gas. It's a 1 gate expand, so we'll be taking 20 nexus. I choose to build my first pylon in the natural, because we're doing this build against all races, so you could also do this against random as well. We build it in the natural because versus Zerg, you really need that wall in the natural. Versus the other races, it's less important. It's nice to have a wall against Protoss. It's also nice to be able to build a shield battery in the low ground against Protoss, so that's another reason why we build it on the low ground. Against Terran, it really doesn't matter where we build our first buildings, so this is fine. 20 Nexus, 20 Core. You'll notice that we're not scouting in this game. Now you can if you guys want to, if you find that you are losing to a lot of 12 pools, but I don't want scouting to distract you from doing the build order properly. If you're unable to scout, and do the build order properly, just don't scout. Scouting is not that important. If you follow this build order very, very simply, you will not die to most things. Occasionally something will catch you out. That's fine, you'll learn from it. As you go up the ranks, you'll be winning more games than, the, than you're losing. That's all that matters. So out of our first gateway, we're gonna get an adept. We're not gonna scout with this, it's just gonna stay at home. This is what I'm talking about, just focus on doing a nice build order, nice and clean. We're then also going to get a Robo and a Shield Battery in our natural base. This is a very nice, safe build. We're going to follow this up with a Stalker and then a Sentry. Again, just very, very safe. And out of the Robo, I want you to build Immortals and Observers. The idea behind this build order is that we want to get up to 2 base saturation as quickly as possible. Then we're not going to build any more probes. We're going to go up to 8 gateways. Templar Archives, and push out with Mass Charge Slot, Mass Archon, and a couple of Immortals. That's the idea behind this build. Make sure that you're producing probes constantly. If you've played a game with this build order and you're wondering why you lost, watch the replay, see if you're producing probes constantly. As a quick tip, at the 4 minute mark, you need to be saturated on your natural. And by saturated I mean 16 workers, okay? So if you're not hitting that timer, 16 workers by 4 minutes, something is going wrong with your probe production, you can come back and work on that. Focus on getting that down first, and the rest will follow quite naturally. So it's a very, very simple build. I even I get supply block just for a second here, but that's fine. Around 41 you want to build the pylon. Now next we want to add Twilight and Forge. Once again we're going to go up to Charge and plus 1 attack, as well as the Templar Archives. When you're getting saturated on your natural, around 16 there, so 4 minutes as I said, you're going to add double gases, and we're going to keep building probes, keep building probes. Very very simple build order, you have detection here, you have a shield battery, uh, you can use battery overcharge as well, you have immortals, this is a great defensive build. Once we start to not need to produce probes anymore, we're going to be adding uh, 7 gateways. Seven gateways means that we have a total of eight gateways. We add Templar Archives as well. And then for the rest of the game, we are just producing units. We don't want to do anything else. No other thinking. Just produce units. It's very, very simple. So I like to add mine, you know, so that we get up to like even numbers of gateways. So I like going up to four, and then I'll go up to six, then I'll go up to eight, you know, adding in groups of two, that kind of thing. But don't worry about it. As you can see, I haven't done any scouting in this game. I mean, I am playing against an AI, but this is just to demonstrate the build. People get 
too worried about what's happening on the other side of the map. You should really just be focusing on what you are doing, okay? Now we're going to add a warp prism, and that's it, the build order is done. All we need to do is constantly produce units. The other thing I would suggest is don't micro your army too hard, okay? Just warp in units whenever the warp, warp in cooldown is off, uh, and you'll be really great, you have a really strong army, and this will easily get you to diamond. Like, I have no doubts. Uh, if, if you don't get to diamond doing this stuff, contact me and I'll help you out. The next tip as well is that every time you warp in, or every time you do a full warp in, you should definitely warp in uh, two pylons. This is so that you don't get supply blocked. So remember that. Every time you warp in, two pylons. Very, very simple. Every time you warp in off one base, uh, by the way, you should warp in one pylon. It, it works like that with the number of bases. If you're warping in off three bases, you build three pylons. Very, very simple. You'll never ever get supply block doing that. So as you can see, we have two Archons, we have Charge, we have plus one, we're gonna go out and attack. I'm just looking at my warp gates during all this time. I'm selecting my warp prism and looking at my warp gates. I see that I can warp in a whole bunch, so I'm gonna warp in. Awesome. If you're wondering about that, that's rapid fire. I'll leave a link to a video that explains that. Now, at this point, you could attack, or you could wait for another wave. Really, it's up to you. Another warp in. I think probably attacking right now is the best choice. Uh, but in this game, I decided just to warp in another round. Focus on macro. Don't worry about micro. Don't worry about all this stuff. This is going to provide such a huge army that you're going to crush over pretty much everything that your opponents can throw at you. So this is a very, very simple build order. Uh, like I said, I give this to all of my students and they immediately notice a huge improvement in their play because they, they've uh, focused in. What they've done is they've focused on building probes. Then they realize, oh, okay, I build probes constantly. I'm floating a bunch of money. And so they're not actually spending all of their money, right? So then they start focusing on warping in constantly. And then they start getting supply blocked. Ugh. So, over time, this build teaches you the macro mechanics of Protoss. It's going to net you a lot of wins as well, but it's probes, pylons, constantly building units. Once you master this build order, you can learn any macro style from Protoss. It really is that simple. So, we're going to beat our opponent in this game, the Terran AI. Oh, he's medium. Uh, I hope you guys like my name. Toss is weak. But then I also wanted to give just a small caveat. I believe that the only adjustment that you would have to make with this build is if you're playing against a Protoss player. And the difference in this case is that instead of building an Adept out of our first gateway, I think you should build a Stalker. And I also believe that you should build a second shield battery in your main base. The reason why we build the second shield battery in the main base is so that you don't die to oracles. Once you make this small adjustment against Protoss, it's very, very simple. Nice and straightforward, you end up with two Stalkers, then a Sentry, Shield Battery in the low ground. Because Stalkers are more expensive, you know, the Shield Battery might be a tiny bit delayed, but it's not late or anything. It's just you can get it a lot earlier with the previous one. Then we go back straight into Probes. Around three minutes, you should build the Shield Battery in your ma main base. This is so that if you're playing against like Proxy Oracle, it's fine. In a macro game, if, so if someone else has done like a two gate build, then the first oracle that they're going to build, be building, you need to build the shield battery at 3 minutes 30. So we're getting it well in advance, okay? So this is a nice and simple build order. I just want to put this out there because, uh, personally, I coach a lot of students and they're, you know, they, they have all these random builds that they're doing and I always focus them in on this one. I want to put it somewhere, thought I'd also share it with you guys. So if you're enjoying this kind of content, let me know. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that lovely stuff. I hope you guys have a really good time with this build. It's enjoyable. I really, really like it. Uh, I've even done it at, in my league. Like, it's not the best, but it teaches the basic mechanics, and I can beat people 5k, that kind of stuff. So it's a really strong build order. Thank you guys very much for watching. And if you're enjoying this content, subscribe.
Peace out, guys. Bye.